The war in Europe has shaken the world. The world is facing a lot of difficulties. We all have to resolve to stand up for peace. Sri Sri is totally right. We have to stand up for peace. You stand for building bridges. I will never forget how you handle this war in Colombia with the FARC. I only hope that you will have the chance to sit together to stop this war. From past two years, the world is going through such a crisis. First, the pandemic, where countries had to shut down, and an impact of it economically, socially, and psychologically is tremendous, is huge. As World Health Organization puts it, that the greatest challenge post-pandemic era is of mental health. Now, on top of this, now this Ukraine issue. The war in Europe has shaken the world and world's economy and its confidence in people about peaceful coexistence. At this time, I think we all have to resolve to stand up for peace. I think every individual should stand up for peace. We cannot afford to think it will not help. How will it help if I stand up for peace? No, drop by drop makes it an ocean. So we all must stand up and commit ourselves for peace and do whatever is in our capacity to bring peace in society. The world is facing a lot of difficulties. I think the basic of everything is education, that we have a better education in the whole world. But if we are looking now at uh, this uh, war in uh, Ukraine, uh, okay, I can only say uh, Sri Sri is totally right. We have to stand up for peace. Okay, we have to fight for, for uh, the climate. We have to fight for uh, economic uh, things. To, to help each other, to assist each other, and nobody uh, can uh, explain it better uh, than you. You are the one who uh, have proved how to solve difficulties in uh, very critical parts of the world. I will never forget how you handle this conflict, uh, this war uh, in, in Colombia with the FARC, and uh, hope that you will have the chance, maybe given by, you have a good uh, connection to the United Nations, that you have a chance to sit together with these uh, uh, important persons to, to stop this war, to give them all your, your, your knowledge, all your power, all uh, uh, what is coming out of your heart, that we will have peace uh, in Ukraine. And therefore, I'm here at your side because I totally uh, uh, believe in you and in your, your, your influence. Thank you, Christopher, for uh, your uh, endorsement of standing up of peace. See, mm, what I'm saying is it's a collective effort that we all have to put. Of course, the governments have got a greater role to play. On the other hand, we can take care of people around us who are mentally so down, emotionally so disturbed. Our inner peace is what gives us strength to face any challenge in life. So at this time, we all need a lot of strength to ch face the challenge. And we can't afford to have our population go down in depression or being sad, thinking the situation is so unsurmountable. So individual peace alone can bring uh, collective peace and peace among the nations. But, but what I can add, that uh, what I've learned, that some people, especially personalities like you, can make the difference. They can give an impact on, on, on the society, all the, the things uh, which are including for peace. That means you are the one for me who can make the difference, who can influence people. I've been around you 
when uh, people who were uh, maybe uh, uh, confused or unhappy, they were together with you, suddenly they opened their heart and they started to smile. That was because you are the one who made the difference. And we need people that, like you in this world uh, who can make the difference. I think all of us have something within us that we can um, we contribute to society. Like you have inspired so many young people for soccer and you have been an ideal coach for them and they all look up to you and your inspiration has really helped a lot of, lot of young people in Europe and young people today can make a difference. I can see that uh, sports and you uh, have something uh, common, that means... We uh, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, no, not only enjoying. You stand for integration, you stand for building bridges. Okay. And I think we are again in a situation where we have to build bridges because we have now a, a, a situation that uh, uh, I know it uh, from, from my neighbors. I, I had always a fantastic relationship with them. Uh, they are from Russia. They are my friends. And now, because of uh, this war in Ukraine, uh, suddenly, uh, they, they get excluded. I think uh, we, we have to uh, stand up even for these people. That's not the Russian people doesn't make all the people uh, this war. There, there's only, only a, a certain group. And, and we have to build bridges to our Russian friends. I've been so often uh, uh, in Russia, you, you also, I can only say, say these Russian uh, people, they are so friendly, they are so open. I was always welcomed there, and uh, for me, really, it, it hurts how I, when I see how we are treating now our, our, our Russian uh, friends. I totally agree with you on this. You know, we should not have any prejudice. People should be seen as different from whatever the government's policies they make. People are good, and we should not discriminate against them. Since, you know, some people are staying in Western Europe for the last 20 years, 15 years, and it is none of their fault. They didn't start the war, and they are part of the society of ours here. There are so many Russians living in Germany, in France, in Switzerland, in uh, Italy, but they should not be uh, facing the blunt of what's happening in Europe. What can the people do to stand up for peace? You know, we have this campaign, I Stand Up For Peace. I would like everyone to join the campaign and spread the message. As Christopher already said, you know, let's not discriminate against people who are amidst us, number one. Second, let's do all that is possible to uh, take care of people around us. Let's spread positivity and let's say we are all together for peace. And lastly, I would say with this initiative, we should see that the mental health and uh, societal uh, disturbance that is occurring today, that has to be dealt with. And so if we all put our attention and uh, come together, and say we stand up for peace, that would kindle hope in all those who feel so hopeless at this point of time. For me, the question is if we can uh, uh, find uh, communication to, to the decision makers, leaders, how we can say, leaders, to, leaders. The, to the leaders, yes. And therefore, at the beginning, I said it, you could be, and, and, and I pray for it, the one for sure will have an influence uh, on them. You have uh, unbelievable charisma to, to give, give them the idea what it means to stand up for peace. I am all willing. See, I am just looking for a chance. Uh, even if I am just an observer in the talks that is going on between the two nations, I would be really happy because I feel that whenever a situation comes where the talks are in a, 
or in a point of breakdown, I can intervene and see that at least the talks go on, so they do not reach a dead end at any point. Uh, see, uh, I am after all is just a social worker, I am so far away from politics, but here I would need the help of everybody and collectively we can all do something to bring, as you said, build the bridges. For me, you have the image of a peacemaker. Use uh, Sri Sri for stop this war and then and starts uh, communication. Dialogue. Yes. The, the, the weapons have to be silent. They have to be uh, closed. We, we have to uh, speak now to each other. And you are the one uh, who can make the difference because uh, you have no uh, individual interest. And that's fantastic. I'm all willing for it. Was there a moment in your life or were there moments where you felt helpless and what did you do to reconnect to your inner peace? I had uh, a lot of uh, these moments in my life and uh, I, I was uh, really, really down. Then I was uh, uh, putting maybe a lot of energy inside me, but, but, but I couldn't change. It even became worse and then suddenly uh, I met uh, Shri Shri and he gave me some ideas about cooling down, breathe out, working with meditation and I can only uh, say this helped me a lot to solve difficulties and even in, 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 as you mentioned it, in situations where you, where, you, where, you, where you think you are, you are helpless. You are never helpless. No. Mm -hmm. And this idea of the self-responsibility, uh, of the self-value that was given by uh, Shri Shri, and I'm very thankful to you that uh, I, I said several times to you, you have something that's outstanding, that you uh, give this self-confidence to people to, to help them uh, self. And they are never... Uh, helpless, as you said. Yeah, breathing techniques uh, help in a very big way because our emotions, our mind is all connected to the breath. And along with that, a few minutes of quietness, meditation, will definitely take us a long way. I'm adding more and more moments of happiness to my life, and one of the biggest moments is, is I'm together with you. But uh, what I have to uh, ask you, Shri Shri, is when you start playing football. <laughs> <laughs> when I do, I will definitely invite you and you will be my coach. <laughs>